Hey there, my name is Eric. I'm a uh, field biologist with Wildlife Preservation Canada. I'm here to give you a quick video update on the Ojibwe Reptile Recovery Program. So today I'm going to talk to you a bit about eco-pastogens. So behind me here we have a shallow creek that goes through this tunnel and underneath a pretty busy road. And uh, what we wanted to find out was whether animals were using tunnels like this to go underneath the road, uh, what types of animals were using tunnels like this, and whether we could kind of adapt uh, existing tunnels like this to our own benefit and maybe funnel animals underneath the road rather than letting them go on top of the road where they might get hit by a car, which is one of the biggest threats to uh, species at risk reptiles like turtles and fox snakes and uh, snakes in general. Uh, so the way that we monitored uh, these, um, these existing eco passages was trail cameras. We set up trail cameras at both ends of the, uh, of the tunnels and we had them running pretty much all summer. Uh, by the end of the summer we collected almost 800,000 images and in the winter when things got a bit slower uh, it was my job to go through those images one by one and look for uh, any animal activity. By the end of the process uh, I found almost 6,000 photos with animal activity ranging from mammals, birds, fish, uh, and of course reptiles. So in this next little clip, I'm gonna show you a typical weekend of animal activity. We got rid of all the images that didn't have anything because there are a lot of those. Uh, just to give you a sense of what types of animals are using existing tunnels like this. So that clip's pretty neat. I mean, you see tons of animal activity. You see snapping turtles of different ages, raccoons, squirrels, birds, great blue heron. Uh, but one of the animals that we were really hoping to see uh, on these trail camera images was snakes. And snakes are much smaller. Uh, some fox snakes can get large, but they're fairly rare. Uh, so we were really kind of worried that we weren't going to be able to see uh, a small snake in these trail camera images. Now in the little clip I'm going to show you next, uh, it's going to show a photo with a snake in it. There is a snake uh, and then it will circle the snake and zoom in on it just so you can see it if you missed it. So I hope you enjoyed this little glimpse into uh, to a bit of the work that we do over the winter uh, and uh, I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.